South Carolina's Eric Norwood burst onto the scene as a true freshman when he was among the SEC leaders in tackles for loss as a defensive end. It became the beginning of a stellar and versatile college career. It got better as the year progressed. And I went in the offseason, worked hard, came back and went at it. Did, had a pretty productive season in, my, in 07 and followed that with 08 with a switch to linebacker and just kept going and just tried to get better and better each year. And I think I did that and I think playing in the SEC helped me a lot also. Norwood is the only player in South Carolina history to be named first team all SEC for three consecutive years. At 6'1", 245, he has played inside and outside linebacker along with defensive end and drawn plenty of attention at every spot. How much did you have to make adjustments to be able to keep being as successful as you were? It was tough. It was tough, especially this year. This year really got tough on me after, uh, I think after five or six games. I was leading the conference in sacks, six sacks. I finished the year with seven teams, started double teaming, the triple teaming, because they, they knew we were short with depth inside. We had a lot of guys get hurt. And I just had to watch them and coach, coach them, move me around other ways so I could be effective. What is it that allows you to get in backfields as quickly as you have and, and apply the pressure that you've done for so many years? I mean, I just I watch film. I see how guys block certain ways. I know how to get skinny at times when I need to be here. How do you get skinny? Get skinny just you got to turn your body. you got to be able to wiggle, move the hips a little bit. So, and I just know how to do it. I mean, you can do it visually, get that visual image before you do it in the game or in practice. You can do it on the bags, and then you just take everything from the meeting room and practice and put it all on the game field and game time. That's the easy part. I play it right from the heart, so if I'm determined to get back there, then nine times out of ten, I'm, I'm going to get back there. As confident as Norwood is in his abilities, he's also realistic about how much harder it's going to be once he gets to the next level. I think it's going to be difficult. It's definitely going to be a, a transition phase. Eventually, in that league, I will try to become a dominant player. I want to be the Doomerville, the Ware, the, the Lamar Woodley's and James Harrison. I want to be that type of guy, that type of impact type of guy. If Norwood is able to do that, he would stand to become very wealthy. I play it from the heart, not from the pocket, so it wouldn't matter if I was getting paid $5 million, $10 million, or a regular 9 to 5 pay us $50,000. I mean, I play it, like I said, I play it from the heart, not the pocket. If Norwood is able to get skinny in the NFL like he did in college, then his wallet will have a chance to get very fat.